Hello everybody, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodělky. Today we will be working on a belt. Okay, long time ago I posted a um, belt that I made for my daughter uh, and it was posted on my blog. Uh, so if you want to go and read about it a little bit, uh, you can click on the links below my video in description, okay? But today we are going to be working on this one. Uh, this one I made with seven stitches, seven single crochet stitches. This one is made with 12 single crochet stitches. So there is a little bit difference. Also the difference is in a length, okay? Uh, and difference is also in the length of these strings. I made my strings really long. My daughter's strings were shorter because she was a teenager at that time. I think she was like 11, maybe 12, I can't remember exactly. But she loved this belt and, well, however, she outgrew it very fast. Uh, but somebody found this post and wanted me to show how to make the belt and especially this area. Okay, so it's very detailed. Uh, it's great for beginners that already know how to crochet, single crochet stitches. Okay, and everything else you just work with your hands. You do the knots and the braiding. And that's about it. So let's go and do it. First, I will leave a very long tail, about 36 inches long, and then I will make a knot, and I usually do it around my finger like this. Okay, I crisscross it over here, and then I take my needle, and when I take my needle, I have that uh, loop in there, I grab the yarn and I pull the yar yarn through the loop and I have a knot. That's how I make my knots, okay? And uh, I will make 13 uh, chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we will be working with 12 single crochet stitches, okay? Okay, now these uh, 13 um, chain stitches fit into two inch width, okay? So, and we need about two inches wide belt. So we will skip this 13th stitch and we will go into, into 12th one, okay? So count one and two, second one from the, from the hook. So we will make 12 single crochet stitches, one single crochet stitch into each stitch, and we will work it all the way to the end. And right now, actually, it is very difficult because it's, uh, you know, we're working with thin yarn, thin thread, okay, over here. So we will go underneath these two. Okay, there. And another one. It kind of gets maybe confusing a little bit. So if you see this one, you need to go right here. Okay, you see two of them here on top of my um, hook. Okay, so let's go all the way to the end and I'll try to speed it up now. Just pay uh, really good attention uh, in the first row, and go slow. Don't, 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 you know, don't try to make it fast, because that's when mistakes happen. Okay, just go slow. Okay, 
okay here this is our last stitch right here so it's always one on the bottom and two on the top that's how I like to do it because it has it it doesn't create big hole here on you know okay so we have 12 single crochet stitches okay now what we will do is we will turn it out we are not going to make a chain we will make immediately single crochet stitch okay and try to hold it with your uh, fingers fairly firmly so we will make single crochet stitch one let me go and show it to you one more time right the very first one okay very first one single crochet stitch and the next one single crochet stitch okay now next one single crochet stitch and you will have 12 of them you can count okay you should not have any less or any more and that is if you are working with this this thickness because uh, you can be also working with another thickness but I'll show it to you on a different thicker yarn also okay so just make single crochet stitches and try to make them uh, as even as possible all right you know that the same one um, that the see the very first few rows two or three are the hardest you see how I am repositioning my fingers to hold uh, what I am working with now we're at the end over here is gonna be very difficult so you see how I'm holding it with with my nail and on my finger because it's so skinny here okay and the last one this is our last stitch and look how I'm holding it right here with my nail on my uh, finger and this is my nail here so I'm holding it so I can pull my stitch through okay when you're working with a thin yarn like this or thread it's a little bit more difficult okay and I'm at, at the end of my row and we will go and start third one and exactly the same way all right so we will go into the very first one under those two threads okay and we will go and make a stitch let's go and count all our stitches so this was my first and then we will go and have 11 more right so this is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay and we already made one that will be 12 okay so I just will go and speed up my uh, single crocheting single crochet stitches and you see that it's much easier on me now to hold my um, my belt my product that I'm making but I still have to be repositioning my fingers as I am crocheting okay so at first you need to really go slow so you do not get frustrated with uh, you know with this uh, thinner yarn okay and this is my last one you see okay and I turn it around and I go and make fourth row exactly the same way as the second and third row okay so I will go into this this first stitch and I will make a single crochet stitch I will not make chain stitches uh, 
you know first but I just will go and make immediately a single crochet stitch in each first stitch okay so uh, I will keep uh, crocheting my belt and when I'm finished I will show you how I will finish it you know how I will finish my belt okay so you you just make your desired length now all the way you know how long you want it and then we will finish the belt together okay so here I have my jeans okay and what I wanted to say is that I will be crocheting my belt from my first loop all around into the next front loop okay so from from basically from here to here. So here I am working on my last um, last row uh, and after I'm done with this my last row I will show you how it looks uh, with my jeans okay uh, you can see that my uh, my belt is pretty long now and we're going to go and measure so you can actually understand what I'm talking about. I'll show it to you. So I put my belt through my loops on my jeans, okay? And you see how stretchy it is, okay? So that's why I made it smaller. Uh, now what we need is about, we need 12 strings that will go over here into this um, side and 12 strings that will go into this side right here okay right there and um, each string has to be actually 72 about 72 uh, inches long which means double the the one of the 36 here that we have over here that we were working with because we're going to be folding them okay we will fold the string and we will pull put it through each of these over here of these uh, stitches okay so I already measured my first one and I'm going to cut it okay so I have uh, 72 uh, inches long string over here and I'm going to make 24 of them now okay so I have pre-cut uh, my strings, all right? And let's go and start working on this side. And this is actually the side that I started crocheting because it doesn't have that chain-like edge uh, this one has, okay? So this is my end. So we will make a decision where to put each string in here. And I was thinking, let me see. I was thinking that the best place it would be in if you look really closely you see these little kind of uh, holes in here between the stitches okay so that's where I will go and put my hook through and I will go because this is my front okay you have to decide which one is your front so you go from uh, let me see do we go from here and then we pull it through and then yes and then we go and pull it through that loop okay so we want this loop over on the front okay so that's our first string okay and we will take our next string I'm going to go and pull it out. I hope I will not get tangled all these all these uh, ends. Okay. I think I'm getting it tangled. <laughs> I hope it was not a stupid idea <laughs> to do it this way. Well, we can go first one and then second and okay 
All right, and we will go and find another hole. Okay, find another hole. So the next one is here. So we go with the hook from underneath, from the wrong side to the right side. And we will pull, pull this fold through this, uh, through this edge. Okay, and then pull both ends through that loop. Okay, and tighten it. And I will work with each string all the way to the end. So let's go get tangled some more over here. Not from this side, let's do it from this side. Okay, so this would be my next string. And all right, not bad, we did it, but we need to go and match up these ends and find the middle over here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is our middle. And we will go through a next hole, which is right there. Okay, right here. Again, from underneath, from, you know, go in uh, from the wrong side up to the right side with the hook. Grab that loop, pull it through, and pull both ends through the loop. Okay, so I know that you can do it now, okay? But let me show you also this one here, how to do this one. This one is going to be done through, um, and again, it has to go from, let me turn this around. On this side, I will go through each stitch, okay? So I will go here, then I will go here. So let me go and show you. Okay, I will go through this one. Again, I'm going, because this is the right side, and I'm going underneath through the wrong side. And this is kind of a little loose, but it's going to get tighter. Don't worry about it. Okay, because that's that first stitch. All right, we're going to go and tighten it up. And I'll just pull it through the loop. And I'll tighten this one up and tighten this one up, okay? And let me show you one more over here. And then, then I will let you do everything all on your own. Okay. Again, we need to line up these uh, ends and make sure that we're here folded in the middle okay and i will go to the next one next stitch which is this one here okay we'll do it through that one again from wrong side from underneath to the right side pull it through pull that loop through and pull these two ends through the loop and here you go, you have the, you have this, this on a top in here, okay? Okay, so it looks kind of neat, all right? So I'm gonna go and finish all my strings and then... my last 
Um, this is my last uh, string that I need to attach. We're going to do it right here at the end, right here. Oops, both, both strings we need to pull through the loop. Okay, so I have uh, my strings on this side and I have strings also on this side as you see. Okay, our next step is to make knots. So you must make sure that these ends don't get tangled, okay? You will have to separate them if possible, okay? Make them kind of wide. Go to the sides. Start from each, each side and then work it to the middle, okay? And this side, now this side. Okay, you want them separated, you don't want them tangled, okay? You will always make a knot with two strings that are next to each other. Okay, so this one with this one, then this one with this one. Okay, so what you need to do is separate these two ends, two strings, okay, and separate these two strings. See, that's why you need to be kind of working uh, with kind of to the with the width because otherwise you're gonna get tangled, okay? So make sure that uh, you know, all your strings are kind of a little bit further apart, okay? And so now that we separated these two strings, or four strings in this case, two of these and two of these, right? We will go and tie these two middle ones together. We're going to go and leave this one alone. We're going to put, put it further out. And... If you really need to, uh, you know, if you need to, you can go and make these strings, uh, instead of 72 inches long, you can make them uh, 60, okay, just to make it easier on, on you. But then I'm not really sure how long you will go and have the, the, the strings on the belt. And I'd rather cut, cut my length later on than... Um, then not have enough, uh, you know, not, not have enough uh, length of my strings, okay? So anyway, so now what we will do is make a knot and close to this edge, okay? So what I do is I put my fingers in here, wrap it around, and then pull that, pull those two ends through the loop that is wrapped around my fingers. Okay, pull it. And now position this, uh, this knot by slowly pushing it up toward the belt. Okay, and what you will need to do, you will have to be very, very careful. So you have all the, these knots in the same level on all of these strings, okay? So when I have it like this, yeah, this is about how I want it, okay? And I will push, pull, push, pull until I have it where I want it, okay? So that's one knot. Now we have this one free and we will work with the next one over here. So nicely separate them, okay? Let's push this aside. So now we will be working with these two strings next to each other, okay? So this one is gonna be, this one we will put on a side and we will work with this one. Again, we will go and wrap them, these two around my fingers, okay? crisscross, go underneath, pull this 
string through the loop, okay, pull it all out, all the ends, both ends, and start pushing it up to the same position like this knot, okay? Push it as much as you can, so it's in the same, it's about in the same, so I'm not gonna pull because if I pull it will come down, so I will rather push it up and push it up, so it's, you see, it's kind of in the same position, right? Okay, and pull, pull on it and push and pull, okay? So they are in about the same level, okay? So now we will go and put this aside, and we will work now with this one and the next one. So here we are, okay, with these two, this one and this one. So this one needs to go on the side. We don't want it out of our way. And work kind of in a 90 degree toward the belt. Don't pull it this way because then this is going to be longer and this one is going to be shorter. You want them about the same length, okay? And if you go and pull it this way, then this one would be longer and this one would be shorter. Let me go and point. See, this one would be longer and this one would be shorter. So you really, you see? You see, you need them both same length. So in a 90 degree to the belt, okay? If possible. You can also do one thing because, you know, we're kind of pulling on, the, on this. I have it... Um, on my jeans, but you can pin somewhere in here, you can pin it to the, um, you know, to your sofa, for example, if you want to go and uh, work, you know, not to have it on your jeans like I do, okay? So I will go and put it over my fingers again, wrap it around, go under, over, and then pull these two ends through my loop, okay? Pull it. And now try to position it again in the same level with these two, okay? And again, try to do it in a 90 degree. Okay, now this is a little closer, so I will pull on it. Let me see how close it is. I'll push, pull, push, push up there with my, pull this hand and push, push this hand. Okay, and push, pull, pull the entire thing. And you see how it's being lined up? Okay, so this is how I do it. And the next one. So basically I gave you a couple tips how I do my knots. So finish, finish all these in the in this uh, line, okay? And then we will go and do some more knots, okay? with my first row of the knots and I will repeat this in a second row. So you can start, you know, on either side. You can start here, you can start here, you know, it doesn't really matter, okay? Um, so over here we will go and keep this one free and then we will connect these two together but I will I think I will rather go and do it from this side go in that direction okay so we will go and separate these two from the knot okay and we will go and tie this one and the next one together okay the very first 
one that was not tied with anything and with the one that was tied with, okay? And again, we will try to do it in a 90 degree to the belt so both of these strings are about the same length. And again, I will try to make it in the same level, the knot in the same level, okay? And we have to make decision how high we want that knot. And if we have this knot here, we will want to go and do the probably the similar thing, right? So it doesn't look too odd. Okay, so about here I would say. So we need to tighten it up this way and pull both. Okay, that looks pretty good I think. Okay, now we will go and work with these two. This one that was not tied from the from this side and this one you know, that needs to be tied with the next one, okay? And again, in a 90 degree if possible. Okay, and pull those ends through the loop. Push it up. Let's go where that knot is. You see this is a uh, need to see where that knot is so we can go and have them in the same in the same level okay my camera died yesterday I didn't have enough space on my uh, on my card anyway so I will continue uh, working with my knots just like I did these three over here okay and I will go and again make them in one line and then I will show you what to do next okay This is my last one, okay, my last knot in the second, second line, in the second one in here. And this one stays all alone, okay, we don't need to go and tie it with anything. The very first one over here was also alone, okay, and so is this one now because we have odd number of stitches. Now we're going to go and smooth all these ends um, as much as we can, okay? And then we will go and make another knot, okay, somewhere in here. But just again, make sure your ends do not get tangled. Keep separating them from tangling. Okay, so now what we will do again, I will go and put my fingers over here, kind of bunch it up a little bit, okay, and wrap all these ends around my fingers, okay, crisscross it, and then pull it, hold, hold, hold it over here where you will have the knot, okay, and pull all these ends pull them through that loop, okay? Now keep holding it because you don't know exactly where you want to have that knot. Okay, then release a little bit higher up, a little bit higher up. Let's do it right in here and push, push up. So now what we will do is we will separate our 25 strings, because we have 25 strings over here, 
we will separate them into three sections, okay? So three sections that will be eight uh, strings plus eight strings plus nine strings. That will be all together 25. So, and we need the uh, strings that are really close to each other. So you don't want to go and add these over over there, okay? So. just will braid we will braid our sections so now these sections you need to go and put into three um, another three sections okay so I will go and have three three and two and I will just keep braiding now separate these ends from each other separate them okay so they don't get tangled keep separating okay and just braid Make a braid. When you make few braids, then smooth those ends out again. And the braids take up some length. That's why we have long strings, okay? You alternate the uh, the sides, always one side goes under, and then the next side goes under. Then the next side goes under, then the next side goes under. And as you see, I go, I go and twist it, and then grab the middle with my next hand, okay? And then I twist it, and grab the the one in the middle with my second hand and twist it and grab it 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 and that's how I make my braid you see okay and smooth when you have few of them smooth the ends so you don't get tangled And I still have this much left over. I'm going to go and stop braiding this this one um, and make another knot right in here just to stop the braid from undoing. Okay, tighten it and then we are going to cut. I'm gonna leave uh, about this long ends and I'll cut them. Okay. And I will go and start braiding my next one. Now, uh, you don't have to have all of these, um, all of these uh, braids the same length. You can have different lengths too, okay? So this is my uh, braid with nine. So I will have three and three and three. So this is going to be more even braid than eight because when you're working with eight strings you have three three and two okay but this one is going to be nice and even and again i separate my ends and i start braiding hold on one second this is no good i have to put this one in here to this to this side of the uh, of the string and take another one here these look more like together. Good. Okay. This way. Okay. And start braiding again. Now when you have really long 
strings, it's much harder to separate those and so you have to do it more often when you're braiding, okay? Separate them and braid and separate and braid and separate, okay? When, you, when uh, the ends are shorter, um, then you don't have to do it as often. three braided uh, ends, all these strings, okay? And they are all different lengths, as you see. Now I will work on my second end, okay? And I will do exactly the same thing what I did on my first end. And this is basically how I will tie my uh, my belt. Okay, I will just make a knot. This is how I will wear it. Okay. Now I also wanted to show you uh, this is a belt that I have made uh, a long time ago for my daughter when she was a teenager. So this was basically for a uh, you know 10 year old kid and um, I used a uh, thicker yarn, thicker, uh, you can see the thickness over here. Okay, all these are cotton, but look at the difference between the, between the threads or yarns, okay? And uh, I used uh, seven uh, single crochet stitches across, okay? So it was a different, uh, um, different number of stitches and also her uh, belt loops were narrower okay and over here I'll show you I am making another uh, uh, belt which is from a thicker yarn and this is a this is a combination of cotton and acrylic and it's much closer to the thickness of the one that my uh, that I made it for my daughter. Okay, look at this. You see, these two are very simi similar, similar. Uh, but this is again for two inch wide uh, belt loop. Okay, and I used or I am making actually eight stitches here across. Okay, I started with nine chain stitches and I am making eight uh, uh, half double crochet stitches instead of eight single crochet stitches. And it's uh, done dif differently. Look at this. I just do a yarn over and then I go into my first one. Okay, I pull it through and then I pull through all three of these. And this makes the this makes the, 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 this uh, uh, belt a little bit thicker. It's not as thin as this one, okay? It's a different, um, different texture, uh, definitely thicker one, okay? And I will show you also because I am working with um, half double crochet stitches, which you do yarn over and then you pull through all three uh, loops, okay? The finishing last stitch, it looks like this. Look at this, okay? It looks like this. It's kind of sloped down. And this is that yarn over here. So you, I usually go and put my hook under that yarn over that was done as a first stitch, you know, just like I did it over here. And then I need to go and find my chain stitch over here, okay, which is right here. 
So I go under, under the yarn over loop and a chain stitch, okay? And I forgot to do yarn over, so here it is, here it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go right there. Okay, and uh, then I will finish it exactly the same way like I was doing over here, okay? These little knots, another knot, and then braiding, okay, when I'm finished with this one. Except that I will have a uh, different number of strings over here. I will have to put eight strings on this one, which will double because you're going to fold them to go and you know, put them in there. Okay, so it will be 16 plus the one long one. This long one, that's going to be 17. And then I will distribute it into three, uh, uh, three strings and those three strings into another three strings. So it's Also, if these tassels are really too long for your, um, you know, for your taste, you can always make another knot higher up, okay, and cut, cut that and make the tassel from the leftover over here, all right? But I like my strings really long. That's it, this is it. These are all my belts that I've been working on. Uh, I hope you liked my video. Uh, thank you very much for watch watching my videos. Thank you very much for sharing my videos. And the ones that like my videos, I will see you another time.